Um, the little but, girl, so, you know, she runs up and she kind of just watches you guys as you pass. And she heard the whole exchange between Colin and she seems fascinated by all of you as you kind of walk past and um, you hear off in the distance. Sammy, actually roll. No, Sammy, you would hear this pretty clearly. You hear what you're assumed to be her mother yell something about, come and help in the communal garden, dear. Oh, my. Sammy is just going to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then continue. <laughs> You, you hear the little girl, though, go, but there's interesting <laughs> people. <Aww>. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it pushing, little girl. Yeah. Um, you guys can move your tokens, right? Uh, yes. Can you? Oh, I think so. But, oh, okay. like, where? Continue. I don't see a community garden. It's not Thank fucking you. on here. I did. I only have a limited amount of space. <laughs> the map gods are displeased. Um, <laughs> um, um, can you unbigen that for me? Yes, who cares? Because this is small, and I got I bad care. eyeballs. Thank you, darling. Yes, who cares? Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> the popping sound is amazing. I, I thought that was a legitimate sound effect. What? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, that was me. I'm sorry. And then oh, Dennis. nice. <laughs> that would be his theater training. Um, yeah. The, the person around the corner that's just like in a random hoodie, like, is that a. In the random is hoodie. that supposed to be a mother? Who? Or is that somebody else entirely? Who? Can you ping them? Uh, that's just, as far as you're aware of, that's just a villager just making their way downtown. Walking villager? Fast. Walking fast. A villager? A villager. <laughs> Even? Throws a book at you, Sammy. Going. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw a book back. <laughs> All right. Uh, the exchange of knowledge, a beautiful thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sammy is absolutely reveling at the mutualism in this town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sammy's um, gonna get a timeshare. Literally. <laughs> if they uh, believed in timeshares. Yeah. Right. Um, and uh, Mads, anything else? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. They're just a villager walking. I oh. mean. Ah. Why is everybody inside the building? What is about the building? Uh, the guard said that the captain was inside. Okay. So they Can all decided... I fit in the building? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's small. <laughs> you can fit your head inside. <laughs> I'll hang out next to Mad's head. Okay. <laughs> so, so she doesn't have to be alone. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so as you guys, you know, walk in, the guard captain, um, the guy who, uh, in theory, is in charge, um, looks up from where he's eating. Um, I know it looks like he has a mace and a uh, shield, but he's he's eating. Trust me. Um, I'm the DM. <laughs> and this is a plate, <laughs> a very large plate. <laughs> A very strange fork. Uh, but he's eating and he kind of looks up mid bite of his rations for the day and he's just like, Car Hopu? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, we're here for I'm the here evil nobleman. We're going to take him back to the Mind's Eye Guild for questioning, I guess. I don't really know something for sure. The... A certain talking to? I don't... We gotta get him. Zephyr will get him. Zephyr knows all the... the... Yeah. We're just here to take him from here to the over that way. Yeah. Mm. You you see the captain just kind of blink a few times, chew, like, once, twice, and then does that, like, comical, like, swallow. You should he's... chew your food more than that. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at you it goes you guys are the ones they sent I swear we're good at our job Flex is my pecs again 
Have you seen Cullen's pecs? And his claw. He's got crazy claws, too. <laughs> he's just like... This guy's jacked, man. Well... Why wouldn't they send me? And look at Matt. Mads is super smart, and she's really big and strong. Like She can fly. Yeah, we, she, that exactly, she flies, and probably hears pretty good, but I never asked. <laughs> but probably. You see the guard just kind of processing everything that y'all are saying here, and he's just... You see any resistance that he may have otherwise given just kind of fade away. And he's like, not my problem. He's all <laughs> yours. Have fun. He's, he's, you know, he basically gives you directions um, to the... <laughs> oh, bro, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for You're laughing so loudly one. in your... Right. <laughs> on enough dice, it still ends up being <sighs> 20. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Is he, it? He, it's debatable. He, he just... <laughs> just... Go to the... Oh, no. Uh, just go to the... Viscount's... House. He's currently under house arrest in there um last we checked at least he's still in there and that was yesterday so unless he decided to up and leave in the middle of the night which is entirely possible if he's evil as you say um <laughs> i'm sorry i have a permit go fuck yourself <laughs> um that's literally the vibe is just from you guys <laughs> in this game right now. <laughs> it's okay. I have a problem. Like flexing and Ron Swansoning our way through every problem. Yes. Because, <laughs> like, out of character, I'm literally, like, how would, so, like, a guard captain who's like, I don't get paid enough for this, like, that's his, that was his initial mindset, and you guys just come in and be like, hey, we're here for him, flex his <laughs> muscles, and just all the shit. It's just it's like, I... Literally, don't get paid enough for this. Fine, <laughs> all yours. <laughs> Just um, well, take them, whatever. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> I believe no. <laughs> oh no! All right. Anyways, bring not that man into my house. He <laughs> lets you know that uh, while the outskirts of the town we are in the more well off district of mm. stonehaven so you won't see much of the rabble here but once you start getting more in town you will uh see why we wouldn't weren't able to extract him back to the capital so have fun with that um and he goes guardsman and the guard basically pokes his head around mads and he goes Tell the troops we're pulling out. The Mind's Eye Guild is here. We're free to leave, finally. <laughs> and he gets up very enthusiastically, and the guard basically runs off in the other direction. Oh, uh, oh he's going. All right, bye. <laughs> Don't forget to clock out. <laughs> all right. Um, so he, he basically gave you directions um, to head towards the center of town. And basically uh, cross the Count's, uh, basically it's kind of like a walkway over the river that cuts through Stonehaven. Um, and you guys will be able to get there pretty, um, pretty swiftly. So um, outside of that, any other questions before we move on? Um, no. No. Nah. That was easy. That was simple. I was going to have you guys do a couple checks there, and it was just like, no, pecs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I would like to stop by the community garden and leave a uh, copy of my book there. I'm surprised you didn't run to the community garden immediately. I have priorities. I'm just saying. <laughs> right? So, all right. So as you make your way to the community garden, um, you see the group of, I see your intellect and raise you steroids. All right, Colin. Um, 
<laughs> I know that I know Colin didn't write that, but also okay, Colin. Um, uh, that was yeah, <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> and uh, you run to the community garden, and you see people there, you know, helping each other. You know, all along the way, you see them helping each other, you know, repair their houses or you know repair their roofs or basically doing. Um, in uh, Silverhold, you know, they're helping each other, but this is kind of a different a bit of fervor, I guess you could say. Um, they've built a very nice um, communal garden. It's quite large, actually. It's uh, it's a decent size. It's probably about a, you know, 40 by 40. Um, in the, they kind of put it in the center of town, at their little section. Um, they kind of tore out a section of what could have been a statue. Um, Ooh. and it's the statue you kind of see laying off to the side, or at least part of it, and it's, uh, looks like a body, it looks like a statue to a person. Don't really know who, you can't see any resemblance on it, it's just kind of, a, like, the torso. Um, but you do see a blacksmith coming over, and he's kind of taking bits off of it to go make something. Um. Oh, yeah. And... You, you you go to put your book there, and there's, like, three copies already there. Sammy is absolutely taken aback, enthralled, and fucking in love with this town. Oh my gosh. And also, they're going to sign each copy. <laughs> so beautiful. Yes. That genuinely makes me so happy for I'm in, you. I'm in love with this so much. So you, you go to sign it, and as you're doing that, um, the little girl from earlier, um, you see her kind of poking up like a fucking, you know, shark just hunting just <laughs> from the other side. There's like a little, you know, uh, like board or something that she's like kind of hiding behind, and she's just like watching. All you see is like her eyes just kind of like a cat, like watching what you're doing oh, as you're goodness. signing stuff. And she's just staring at you. I'm just gonna wave to her. What are you doing? I'm, kind of... <laughs> I'm signing right. my books. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Those aren't your books. Those are our books. I wrote them. You read them. <laughs> what do you mean you wrote them? I mean the definition of the words that I just said. <laughs> what are those definitions? That I wrote the dang book. What does that even mean? My pen hit the paper and made the words that are on the book that you're reading. <laughs> you see her little mind working and you start seeing it dawn on her. And she's like, oh. You got it. You got it. Oh. You got it. Mom! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell at your ears. Um, Sammy is going to bolt like a fucking perfect deer in headlights. Absolutely. I wanted nothing less. <laughs> you, no, 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 no. Uh, you hear the girl going, Mom, 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 as she's running, and you can hear the mom going, Why? Like, very exasperated. Um, mother tones. <laughs> And you, you hear her as you're running away, Sammy, back to the group. Uh, something to the effect of, they're here, they're here. They, 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 they were right there. Where the hell did they go? <laughs> and you hear the mom just go, what have I told you about using that language? <laughs> uh, you, you just hear the last thing before you're out of earshot is uh, basically go, I know what I fucking saw. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, little, girl. the little girl has a mouth on her by the way um hell yeah as she should as a follower of sammy as she should um <gasps> god that was beautiful um and uh because the mom didn't see you she does not believe the child by the way um Aww. so with that said, uh, you guys... Why did that not save? Uh, there we go. Cool. You guys oh. move 
towards the center of the city, towards the uh, Count's um, house. And it's more like a castle, but say la vie, potato, potato. Um, and dead ahead, these are very, this is a very nice section of the town. Um, the houses are made of very fine stonework. There is uh, lamps. Um, basically, these are oil lamps in the city. They even have fucking sewage and drains and everything. And as you're getting to closer and closer to the center of the city where this guy lives and is being held, you hear a little bit more of a ruckus um, than you're potentially used to. It's not the usual hustle and bustle of the trading that normally goes on during the day. Uh, this is, you, you get the vibe that this is an angry group of people. Um, and as you guys, you know, round the corner, uh, you guys run parallel along the, um, the river. You do see guards on the other side, basically standing at attention. Probably about every, you know, 20 feet or so, there's a guard watching the, um, the river basically just to make sure that nobody's trying to, you know, cross it type of stuff. Um, and as you reach the center, um, you see basically there's this giant statue, which is, uh, basically been kind of, I wouldn't say desecrated, but it's, um, it's been graffitied in the best way that, you know, they could. Um, very unhappy with this person. And there's a guy in the center who's basically yelling something. You can't quite make it out until you guys get closer, but this whole group of people is very angry. Um, across from them, you see standing at attention, uh, weapons drawn is basically oh. the entire guard that is currently holding the bridge, uh, preventing anybody from crossing. They're not doing anything. They're just, they have their weapons drawn and they're just standing there. So just watching the crowd. Okay. I see Cullen has moved into position. He <laughs> um. has. I've seen that as well. <laughs> Sammy would like to approach the statue. Okay. And um, use like a, a little piece of like, chalk or stone or something of that nature to just carve remember we are all weasel <laughs> <laughs> we're all weasel on this blessed day mm. absolutely and then they'll rejoin the group okay as you're over there and you're writing that you hear the guy who's here he's sur uh, he's got a bunch of people yeah. around him but as you're writing that you know that there's this guy the guy on the other side these are big muscle heads as well as one guy that's uh, kind of in the back, and he does have a rifle. Um, and he's just kind of just listening, but he's kind of tooting him out. Uh, he's not really paying. You, you get the feeling that he's heard this <laughs> a bunch of times at yeah. this point. Yeah. Um, but the guy in the red, though, um, you hear him... You kind of don't really pay attention to him too much until you start hearing what he's saying and you're like wait a minute that sounds familiar wait a minute that sounds familiar hold on wait whoa 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 that's not how that goes and basically is the kind of the chain of thoughts here and you start really paying attention and he's yelling reflect upon the shortcomings of our current path brethren there are vast possibilities that lie dormant within us but the profound truths that lay beneath the surface we must ourselves be freed and remove the trapped material accumulation that has become the measure of success around us. These people must be dealt with. Together, we embark on this journey to uncover these profound truths, leading us towards a future that will end with harmony, equity, and the interconnectedness that will prevail once they have been removed. And he holds up a book that looks really fucking familiar. As they say in the book, he says, reflect and explore 
the accelerationist realities, the transformative power, the beauty of mutual aid and support networks to remove those who have material accumulation and oppress us. Hey, speaking of removing things, <laughs> we're actually here to do that. We're here to remove the oppressive guy. Oh, oh no. What a fucking slam dunk that was. <laughs> Good. Oh my, God. oh my God, I'm dying inside. This is amazing. <gasps> so, Colin, how loud did you say that? Oh, so loud. I, I mean, I had to make sure that the guy way over there heard me. <laughs> um, no. Okay. All right. Uh, give me a second. I gotta do some rolls here. <laughs> I gotta do some rolls here. Oh, no. Okay. I love it so much. All oh of the peasantry so look back back see you colon they look a little taken aback at first and you know they're they're all fired up currently you get that vibe and they go yeah let's remove them you hear that start kind of rippling through the crowd and they kind of go you know they turn some of them turn towards the guards and you feel a shift in the vibe of the crowd. Not a good one. Oh, no. All right. Now that I've got your attention, we are here to take the count guy to the mind's eye place for justice. Where is he? <laughs> I love Colin oh, so much. <laughs> Is anybody else doing anything while Colin's asking this? Just as a side note. <laughs> well, I'm inciting a riot. <laughs> you literally <laughs> got oh, no. any to do. <laughs> I'm hanging out way back. I am not an up close boy. <laughs> Sammy is standing there, mouth agape, both una uh, unable to reconcile that. Yeah, like he he, he read the text. <laughs> <laughs> He, de he definitely understood the lesson and did the homework, for sure. And then Cullen's making us the extracurriculars, and that's not great for me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. To be clear... <laughs> are, are you okay with the course of action that they're taking, or is it just that you're there at the moment when it's happening that you're not okay with? <laughs> I'd say that Just for my uh, information, Sammy, <laughs> Sammy on the whole wouldn't wouldn't stop them if they tried to like kill the uh, the count guy, but they're not exactly on board with the uh, w with the townspeople turning both on us and on the guards necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, 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 continue uh, before I continue. Okay. That which we have wrought. Uh, that this went fr I just want to let you know this went from zero to 100 real fucking quick uh, yeah. <laughs> have been sewn, boys <laughs> oh my god okay, uh, so, okay. so can I can Matt's just like uh, I'm gonna go over here and be and like ask the the guards over here like okay like what the fuck is going on Give, give me what what is happening here? Why are you here? Where's the count? Because this is supposed to be bad shit. <laughs> so as you are approaching, the thing is, is the captain and all of the guards also heard what <laughs> Cullen yelled, and they are all now in a defensive stance. Oh um, my god! And they are at the ready because they get the vibe. This is about to turn ugly as well as you approach. Um, give me a minute, Mads, because this could also be interesting, because, uh, oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, 
Um, <laughs> silent. Oh, there he is. <laughs> so the guard, Captain, I, as you approach her, she has picked up her two-handed sword off the ground. Not really oh. at the ready, but she looks at you, looks over at Colin, and basically sees that you guys are from the Mind's Eye Guild, but also she heard what Colin has said <laughs> and what the people are doing, and she does not know how to deal with you currently, Mads, so she looks at you and goes, speak now or die where you stand. Whoa. Okay, but I just did the spoke thing. I know, but Hold basically on. this is what this is what happens when you when you're coming up. So this okay. is this is the scene. You basically are okay. coming up on her. She's taking in everything. She delivers that and then you deliver back to her. Um and she goes, "Who's asking?" <laughs> uh, we're with the mind's eye we were supposed to come take the count back safely in one piece to <laughs> our guild master really don't have much more information than that she, except that it was, it was they were having trouble like getting him out of the town so that's if you want like, to stop we us you can also Poland's yeah. just a dumbass leave just <laughs> Just he he, he he does his job. I promise. I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't want to hurt you if I don't need to. Like I'm not trying to hurt people. <laughs> so Captain, oh. I looks at you dead in the eye and goes, "You can certainly try to hurt me." And oh. she, you see a badge on her. Um, left shoulder, which uh, informs you, you know, now that she's turned a little bit more in a guarded stance. Um, she's an adventurer guild member, so a monster hunter. Um, and she informs you that she is the head guard of the Count's personal retinue. Okay, still doesn't clarify. Are you good guy, bad guy? Are... <laughs> you can't just ask somebody why they're a bad guy. <laughs> Apparently it works for Colton. Right. <laughs> so. Like, I'm, okay. So, I know, so I... Mads doesn't actually ask that. Because, like, yeah. obviously that's not I know. to say. But, like, the, um, <laughs> and, and, and I have. I, um, I also apologize out of character for the for the responses. They rolled very badly. Um, basically, I rolled a uh, how perceptive are they towards you, like relationally. She basically uh, rolled antagonistic, so I apologize. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to clarify again. Like, we're not here to hurt people on purpose. Holland's just <laughs> stupid. Roll persuasion. We're, we're gonna try to handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give um, Mads advantage on persuasion, as I would also try and talk the guards down? What are you gonna say, and I'll decide. <laughs> oh, damn! You know what? Salient point. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I got a seven. Start with. Listen, we're also both I'm gonna be like out of the corner of my. My mouth is just like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're both from guilds. It's cool. Zephyr Kai sent us here on a peaceful mission to help you guys out. We're not trying to upset any sort of status quo. We just got to take this guy back for questioning. Okay. I will allow advantage on that, Mads. Meanwhile, back at the, <laughs> the, 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 the back at HQ, the halls are toughest. Um, 
Colin, you when you say that we're going to take him, you hear and see kind of like a little bit of a different vibe from the crowd. They don't seem to like that concept of you taking them away from here for judgment because um, who's going to judge him? The corrupt government? Hey. That'll get off. That's not a good idea. Um, and you hear the guy go, the allure of the civilized ones in power are casting a veil over our eyes, obscuring the truth. We can't allow that. And you hear a, yeah, you know, murmur and a couple, yeah, more enthusiastic from the group. Uh, I don't have any veils, but the truth <laughs> is that that guy done some dirty, bad shit. Yeah. We're going to take him not to the government, but to the Mind's Eye Guild. Who's the Mind's That's Eye it? Guild? A pawn for the government? Oh, you are lackeys. No, I don't think we worked with any governments. That that doesn't sound right. I think your facts are wrong. <laughs> we have benefits, but not that good. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um uh Mads, what was your what was your role by the way? Because I'm basically trying to figure out what's gonna break first here. <laughs> oh boy. I mean it it <sighs> Nine. Okay, um, so the captain looks at you and she kind of looks back towards the castle and she looks back at you and just goes, how do we know you guys are actually going to do what you say when he points directly at Colin with her two-handed sword. It's about to start a fucking riot. Great point. Um, he will be staying out here, <laughs> dealing with the consequences of his actions, and we will all do the other thing and see if he's still in line with the other <laughs> God, just throw him completely under the wagon. It's fun. <laughs> can, um, he's got the can... Rogaine. He's fine. Like it'll be. It'll, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll keep the villagers busy and and yeah, <laughs> we'll take the count out the back way. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Sammy. Uh, yeah, can Sammy try and talk to uh, the what sounds like the leader guy over here? Absolutely. Awesome. I'm basically, uh, I'm just going to kind of shuffle my way through the crowd, like, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, I just wanna, I just wanna, and I'm gonna tug on his shirt a little bit, I'm gonna show him that I'm part of the Mind's Eye Guild, and just be like, why don't you come with us, and act as an emissary for your town, plead your case, and that may sway the minds of the people who will actually be doing the head cutting, if at all possible. <laughs> He looks oh, down at you. Okay, so he has a backstory. Give me a minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, please. Give it to me. Oh no. Roll persuasion against him. Oh Just no. no. <laughs> Sammy is not terribly persuasive. <laughs> oh yeah, in fact, it's a D6. Uh -oh. All right, so... <gasps> Five and then the base die That's six, which trick. explodes, which Yo, explodes. Yeah. Hell yeah! Baby. So the one fifteen time you total. Grab, you really needed. <laughs> Literally. Oh my god. Hmm. Rat politician. He is not a rat. It was. Nor is he a politician. It, it's a pretty good persuasion. I'm not gonna lie. But let me tell you a thing, rat. Oof. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Literally. <laughs> I went to the capital to plead my case when my wife was sick. 
I went to all those who would listen. But what did they do? Nothing. And by the time I got home, she was dead. I had to bury her. And here I stand now as a call to action to deal with those who did nothing when they had everything in their power to be able to help. So no, you can take your pleading before whoever the fuck has the axe and shove it up your ass. I'm going to kind of open the side of my cloak and show him that I've also got a copy of the book and go, believe me, if they don't, I will myself. I understand what you're going through. We're just trying to stop a riot here. Why would we stop it? Because there are good people that don't need to die here. Looks back at Colin. He seems pretty enthusiastic to deal with him. Exactly. And so am I. But if you guys try and rebel against the guards here, all of you will die. Every single one of you. And nothing will be done about the evil person who's been screwing you over for, what, years now? Roll persuasion. And then what? Okay. This is a test of wills, by the way. This is a, a mechanic in the game. Four. Mm. Oh boy. He looks at you. And just for the briefest of seconds, you see his resolve waver. Before it gets replaced. What? Can I, uh, like, as I see his resolve waiver, can I just see, uh, can I just say, like, what you've built here is beautiful. You truly took the messages that you were supposed to, but I don't want to see that all crumble for, what, nothing. Roll another persuasion. Oh, man! Oh, my God! Fucking... Five. <sighs> Argumentative sneak attack. <laughs> uh, I love the fucking Isaac. I'm sorry. Um, okay. As this is, you say that, he looks at you and he. You see him open and close the book a couple times as he's kind of contemplating something. And he goes, yeah, that would be the logical way out. Oh. He nods and he looks at you and he's going to backhand you with the book. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's crazy. Um, he's going to roll a fighting attack, and that's an 8. Alright, let me see. What's my... Oh, parry? My parry is an 8. Alright, so that's still going to hit. Um, okay. So, But it's not going to do much because it's improvised weapon. Um, it's going to do a total of 7 damage. Okay, so that's going to be after my armor, 5 then. Yep, and does it overcome your toughness? Uh, that's exactly my toughness. Then you don't take no HP damage. So it stings oh. like a bitch. It's... So Colin is definitely going to react to that. Just go ahead, but I, I need I need the floor for a second after this is done. <laughs> you will. <laughs> there is only one other thing that I need before Colin does anything. Sammy, roll smarts or go berserk. Oh shit. Yes, alright. So that's gonna be D eight for my intelligence. Can you hear me the D eight on? Oh yes. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen at a oh, damn last night. Fuck dude. <laughs> that's gonna be a six. Uh, so it's up to you if you go berserk or not. Other so it's a pass, technically. So Um they're they're not going to go berserk. Okay. They're just going to say Fair enough. 
if that's the will of the people, then so be it. And Sammy is going to kind of shuffle back to the uh, to the uh, to the party up there. Just like, excuse me, pardon me, excuse okay. me, pardon me. So <laughs> before you do that, then Colin, so you're going to still be right in front of that as you're about to say that Colin, you have the floor. So Colin oh boy. sees his friend get slapped by this book. <sighs> Obviously can't really hear exactly what they're saying. Colin sees that breeze in deep, gets as big <laughs> as he can, just basically pushes through these people to get right up to this motherfucker. And he starts screaming, community is supposed to be the most important thing to you, and you're going to put all of these people and all of these families in danger, and you're going to hit my friend in the middle of here? I don't think so! All of you, get the fuck out of here! We are oh. taking it from here! Damn, <laughs> <laughs> Roll intimidation with advantage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me find my intimidation real quick. <laughs> Colin don't like to see friends be hit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Will the people my ass? <laughs> <laughs> Earth. I love all of you. <laughs> All right, let's see. That exploded again. Oh. Uh, so let's see. So f the first set was the 17. Okay. Let me roll my second set here. And the second set was just a six. So 17. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you're going to see the people here um disperse oh <gasps> real fucking quickly yes. oh my god i deleted the opposition <laughs> um and there's only now a few people left um he's gone um and Okay, so that just happened as Mads <laughs> is still trying to do Captain I, which now might make it a little easier on their side of things to convince <laughs> that everything's going. So, Ace, continue your persuasion attempts of Captain I. Um, <laughs> like, like post everybody leaving or like pretending they're still there? This is this is basically everything is all happening at once. So they're fucking leaving now as you're continuing. Okay. Um I mean I, I feel like before I had asked like what like where the fuck is the count? Like And she wasn't gonna fucking tell you <laughs> because she didn't believe you were there to help. <laughs> what what are I don't remember the conversation. It was like we um we were there Take him back to the mines, I guess. And then Colin was just a dumbass and felt like he was going to stay out <laughs> here and make sure that he's safe. I feel like the next step in the conversation will be a response to whatever. Okay. So, with everything going on and the crowd now dispersing, uh, all the guards are kind of kind of like stop being like ready for a brawl and captain i's gonna look a little unsure and just be like <laughs> she's just gonna look at you mads and be like is this normal for you people mm, for That's great. <laughs> she just stands there, just <laughs> not. Quite... Yeah, right. <laughs> She's just like I. Um. The count's still under house arrest. He's been under house arrest since we were told by the council guard to keep him there. Like he hasn't left. Okay, but that doesn't tell me where in the house he fucking is. I don't <laughs> know. To the count. 
<laughs> you said you're the captain of his guard. That's your whole job is to know the building. <laughs> Lead us to the prisoner we are taking back with us. Now, please. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. <laughs> so as you said, so basically the guards kind of, you know, play, and the, the Captain I is just like, what the fuck is even this day? Um, Sammy, <laughs> as, Sammy, actually, as you're coming up to Captain I and these people, um, you see a pretty strong telekinetic presence around Captain I. Um, so she is very clearly a telekinetic. Uh, this guy over here. Um, he is also a telekinetic, and also this random person over there is a telekinetic. Um, so, uh, the Count has at least three telekinetics under his employ. Just as a side note. Okay. Uh. Um, so Cat and I basically leads you guys back and, um, it's 1050, it's 10 minutes before the hard stomp. And this next interaction could be a bit, just depending on how it goes. So I think this is actually a good place to stop. I think so. Um, because... Yeah, have work at 9 a.m. Yeah. So, um... But yeah, you stopped a riot, which I thought was everyone was. Oh, like, I thought that was going to be so. Oh, thank bad. Christ! Um, oh, I really thought we were fucked. <laughs> I really did. Uh, uh, Samuel wasn't going to stop him. 